Greetings everyone from rural China. That's right, you saw it in the title. I have finally moved to a Chinese village. I've spent years of my time in China exploring villages and I've finally transformed myself from being a transient visitor to being a long-term resident. And I'm so excited to share everything about this lifestyle with you guys. But first, Let's go back in time to a couple of months ago when I made some little video journals documenting my very first days of living in this house. All right, everyone. My rural China dream is finally coming true. I finally arrived at this house months and months and months after deciding on it because I've been so busy with so many projects. And I'm just showing you guys what it looks like before I have done anything to it, before I have cutified it, before I put my rugs and my furniture in it. This is what it looks like. So here's the living room, and right now it has absolutely nothing, but I'm gonna work on that bit by bit. You know, it's gonna take a while, but I'll get there. This table came with this house, and I really love this wooden table and all the little wooden benches. It's just very like. Just classic rural China vibes, you know? Like, I'm not trying to bring all this, like, fancy furniture in here. I'm gonna stick with this aesthetic for the most part. Here is the kitchen. Looking fresh and lovely. We've got this beast here. For when I want to cook a big thing or, you know, you could make some cool dishes in here. Plug in electric stove for the easy stuff, and then for the big fancy stuff, we have this. This beautiful thing here. We've still got these ugly bars on the window. These are not a vibe. I will be removing them and replacing them with cute ones. This right here is going to be the office where I'll be editing videos and doing other projects for work. Here are my rugs waiting to get opened up and laid out on this floor. I'm gonna cover this place in rugs. And let's come in here and see the bedroom. Looking very nice. There's so much storage space in here. This is all ready and waiting. I'm not here to this view. Bamboo mountains. Who does not want to see that every morning? Day two of rural China living and my colleagues are over here getting ready for a little moving in party thing that we're having tomorrow. There's a random dog in my house. I have no idea whose dog this is. This is my little office. I moved this corner shelf in here, put some cute stuff on it. My beautiful rug, two of my beautiful rugs. This is a cat, if you can tell. Two of my favorite rugs are in here. So this room feels very cozy. And here is my little living room, which is not as nice as the office. The rugs make all the difference. Let me tell you, it is the rugs that make this place feel home versus not home. I love rugs. These lovely ladies here are helping with collecting the leaves and stuff. And my colleagues are in here putting up some balloons. And I'm just working on putting things out so the house looks more like a home and not like I just moved in here yesterday, which is the truth, but it's not supposed to look like that. So I put out my little pillows. I put out this beautiful painting I got in India. Day three of rural China living and my colleagues are all here holding a little Welcome party for me. Not everyone's here yet. It's just starting and we've got this big round table in the middle with all this stuff on it. Yeah, 
不久之后，新号就跟我提出来了，摆账这里有这么一个机会，我抓了这个机会，我说我想要，我想要，我一定要实现我的农村梦。我在这里有办公室，有同事在，就像有个小家庭在这里，就不会那么孤单。这个房子能住进去，不光是因为它条件本身就好，也是因为有很多人在帮忙协调这件事情。所以非常感谢村里面的工作人员，还有。坐在这个圆桌的大部分的同事们也都是付出了很多，让我能够做这个环境。所以，几点钟过来的 ？In classic rural China style, whenever we're celebrating something, gotta make a lot of noise. So the fireworks are set up behind here. 我还没学怎么做这个，我还没学。嗯，我现在在用电磁炉。嗯，电磁炉。这个这个太难了，过过一段时间再学吧。<笑>太难了这个东西。Okay, finally, I am capturing the thick booty chicken walking into my yard like it owns the place. Like, excuse me, what are you doing here? I'm just kidding. You can come whenever you want. Hi, you're back at my doorstep again. Do you want to sign up to be the guard dog of this house? Is that why you're here? Because you're cute. You can have the position if you want it. But that means you gotta be loyal to my yard. No more going to other people's yards. Wow, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Look at this. She brought me corn. All of these corns, duck eggs, and one lone chicken egg. Life is good.
there's this path running along the river that goes that direction and this direction from my house. So I came out here today for an evening walk and look at this sunset. Wow. The sunset with the bamboo mountains. It is chef's kiss. Just perfect. So I think I'll come out here for an evening walk every day and a lot of other people are doing the same thing. So yeah, I am enjoying the rural life, that's for sure. There are inconveniences, there are like annoying things. I don't expect this to be like super easy by any means, but having this amazing scenery definitely helps make it much more of a smooth transition. So being out here in the countryside, I would not be able to see the dancing grandma brigades anymore like you have in the city and the town, but I was wrong. They're here. They are here. They are dancing. They are all over China, even in the tiniest, randomest places. Come, come, come. Yeah. The dancing grandma brigades are unstoppable. Gotta love that rural Zhejiang life. Over here on the right side of my window, it is gray and angry and raining. And then here on the left, it's just a sunny day with a few clouds, but overall very pleasant. In my yard, it's a sunny day. In the neighbor's yard, it's raining. Sucks to be you. Glad I'm in my yard. So imagine you're just here, like doing your, doing your work or whatever, right? And you just look up and you see this. Is that not just like the most beautiful thing ever? The mist rolling through the bamboo mountains. Some of y'all have been commenting that I haven't run into a geese mafia in a while, and that is true, I have not. And I'm happy to see that there is one in my neighborhood because it feels very nostalgic, you know? But they just don't really do their job. Like, when I come towards them, they run away from me. They're supposed to run towards me, hissing and stuff, and they're just like, ah, run away, ah. Ah. So, Yeah, they're not really a geese mafia, they're more like, like a, like a, I don't know what to call them. I'll, I'll think of a funnier metaphor later, but yeah. So that's, that's that. <laughs> okay. Okay, over dramatic. It's cicada season in rural China, and these little guys are everywhere. They're so cute. Yeah, you can come with me on my walk. And that's all for my first few days living in rural China video journal. Hope you guys found it interesting. And it's actually quite interesting for me as well, looking back on all those videos because the house looks so bare and so empty, completely different from how it is now. I have to say, I feel like it's pretty darn cute. And in the next video, I will take you guys on a tour of how the inside of the house looks now. And in upcoming videos, I'll be showing you guys around the village, sharing some daily life stuff with you guys. I just have so much to share with you, and I can't wait to show you guys around this beautiful village. But that is all for today. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll see you next time.